Hey, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? I'm Steven. This is episode 50 on Oda Treasure and boy, I have a good one for you. I always get excited by this one whenever I see a, a great one online and I buy it. It's so exciting to get it, to try it out. And here's another one. This is another Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. And this one, of course, is a red label vintage, but it comes in the box. And I did an episode it was uh, 13. Episode 13, it's a long video. I talk all about the lore of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. What makes it so famous? Why is it so popular? Why was it so interesting and groundbreaking at the time? And that was just the bottle. Actually, here it is right here. It is just this bottle without the box. And I made a mistake with this one, to be honest, in that video. I sprayed it. I smelled it. And I thought it was great at the time. And after the video was done and I had more time to smell it, I changed my mind. This isn't really the goods. This isn't really that great. It just, it didn't hold up over time. And what I've noticed is that a lot of these vintage bottles, a lot of these vintage Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce bottles, they just don't smell the same anymore. They, the scent has changed and it, it doesn't last as long as it used to. What made it so famous was that it was a modern, musky uh, men's cologne, and it fit young people perfectly, people in high school, people in college, and it would fill up a room. Girls were like, wow, what's that smell? It's fantastic. It, I wasn't getting that out of this. It just didn't feel the same, and it may be now, because it's 25 years later, uh, that's the case, or, or 20 years later. But um, yeah, this isn't really the same as it used to be. So this new one, I'm about to open up. I can't wait to test the new one and this one and just to see if there are any differences and just to see if this new one I bought actually smells the same. Some of them smell and perform the same, but it's really hit or miss with this one. It's really like 50-50. So I'm about to open this up. ET episode 50, Vintage. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce in the red box. Check it out. All right, here it is. Just came today. I saw this online a few days ago, and it was uh, 5,800 yen was the uh, asking price on it when it first got listed. I thought about asking for a discount, but I, I thought to myself, this is going to go because some people pay 7,000, 8,000 yen for what this is in here. And that converts to about forty dollars. All right, so this is this was forty dollars what I bought in this box. Check it out. I already cut the tape on it. The tape was really a uh, was a really good tape job. So I had to do some surgery to get this thing uh, ready to save you about twenty seconds of cutting time. So I haven't opened this up yet. This is my the first time I'm actually opening this thing up, and I'm going to give you my initial impression of this vintage Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Really excited about this one. I mean, this thing looked almost brand new. I couldn't believe it. I bought it, I think it was listed online for maybe 10 minutes. I'm actually surprised that nobody bought it first. All right, good packing job. It's taped up pretty good. Not going anywhere. Look at this thing. Now, these Abercrombie & Fitch stores, um, they didn't exist in Japan until about 10 years ago. So anybody in Japan that had a vintage, or that has a vintage bottle of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, got it while traveling. Got it like as a souvenir when they were probably going to Hawaii. I had one seller tell me that they got it from Hawaii, or the description says bought in Hawaii and as a souvenir. So here it is. This is the original Abercrombie Fitch Fierce box. The largest size was 50 ml. Came in a red box like this. Let's check out the box here. Now it's not totally new. You can see the corners are a little bit frayed or messed up. So it's a little bit used, but wait till you see the bottle. There was the price tag on it. I wish they kept it on. This new was probably 60 or 70 bucks about uh, 20 years ago. So this came out in 2002. 
and it was just it was basically uh the whole shopping mall smelled like this or the abercrombie fitch fierce store smelled like this so when this was new it was so good the stores instructed the uh, staff just to spray this stuff all over the store and the mannequins and they had a big bottle of it like a i don't know like a like a liter bottle of this called room spray fierce room spray and they just destroyed the store destroy i mean just wrecked the store with this smell and i don't mean it in a bad way i mean it in a good way everybody loved it i don't i don't know that many people that don't like the smell or complain about the smell of this so look at the label is there a date on it there's no date all right i think that's a good look at the box This is kind of cool. It shows you uh, how to open the twist cap. Like we need an instruction for that. Like we need instructions. Let's open her up. Let's take her out. Let's take a look. So we have the um, the torso design which the modern one is different. The modern one is more like a like a surfer dude's body. This is like a bodybuilder. They changed it because I guess it was, I don't know, not the image that they were going for. So here it is, Abercrombie Fitch Fierce, red label, silver cap. This is what makes this, uh, this is how you can identify it as a vintage bottle. The new ones have a, uh, a cap that's kind of a wood, wood material maybe it's plastic but it looks like wood it has wood grain on it with a little silver top and it has the black um i don't have a modern bottle to show you it has a black uh abercrombie fitch fierce logo on it with that surfer dude body maybe i'll just put a picture on the screen here and look how full this thing is this thing was maybe sprayed five times the cap is like pristine. These caps, I don't know why this thing is not focusing. Sorry about that, guys. All right. The caps, I have several of these. I have maybe 15 of these, 10 or 15 of these uh, vintage ones. The caps, when they're left outside, um, or not outside, but like in your home with no air conditioning, if it's humid, these things get like rusty or dull. But this thing is pristine. This has been preserved so well. It's awesome. That's why I think maybe the juice inside still retains the same character as it did back then. Let's look at the bottom. The print, the text is so small you can't see it here. It just says Fierce Cologne, 50 ml, with a batch code 2766CFP. And I've tried looking these up on databases before. You can't, there's, there's no information on these. But you don't need the batch codes. There's so many clues that tell you um, the date of when these came out. Now, this is not the first year. This is not the first Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. The first one, and it's very rare, it's a long silver cap that slides off. It's a, just like this, it's a, but it's a long one. This is the second year or third year where it, you have this thing that twists. It has these little uh, buttons here and this uh, weird function. I don't know why they thought of this, but they did it this way. All right, awesome. Now for the smell tests. Let's see if this thing smells uh, better than uh, the other one. Here's the other one. All right, how can I tell them? I can tell them by the uh, level that's in it. This one is almost new, and this one is like 95% full. Is the color different? Let's push this out of the way. Let's just look at them exactly under the light. All right, let's compare them next to each other. This is the one from episode 13, episode 50. This one is the new one I just got today. And if you notice that this one looks a little bit darker, right? The, just the design, 
the uh, the body design looks a little bit darker. I don't think it's the juice color difference, but I can't really tell because of the picture. Maybe if you look at it to the side. Yeah, this one here on the right, the juice looks a little bit more clear than this one. So other than that, they're almost identical. I'm assuming they're not fake. And look at the bottom. They both have the batch code printed on them. How about... Yeah, so just the picture is a little bit darker on this one, if you can notice that. All right, so let's test them out. All right, let's check out the smell on both of these. I just had to, uh, I just washed off my hands and they're dry. Uh, today, the scent of the day today was Creta Ventus Cologne and I sprayed it on this side and I was testing a uh, Chanel Antaeus right there. So I had to scrub that off. Yeah, it's pretty clean. I don't smell it anymore. So let's do the previous bottle on this hand. Two good blasts. And let's spray this one. All right. That's pretty covered. That's covered well, I mean, so. Well sprayed. Okay. All right, let's see. All I smell is fierce right now. Either way, it's, I don't know which hand I can smell, but that one. Ooh, it's really strong with alcohol, so i got to let it cool off. My girlfriend's here. I should ask her her opinion right now as soon as it dries. All right, guys. I just came back. It's been 10 minutes, and I smelled both of these hands. And this hand has this one. This hand has the new one I just got today. And my girlfriend smelled each hand, and I asked her, what's the difference between them? It's the same fragrance. Are there any differences? And uh, she said that this one just smells like the normal Abercrombie Fitch that you get at the store. And she said this one seems to be a little smokier. And I don't know. When I smell them, my opinion is I think this one is kind of weak or different. And this one, it's almost the same to me. It kind of smells the same. So, guys, I'm just going to admit it. I, I can't tell the difference. I, I don't know. Um... I can't remember exactly back then what the Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce brand new one smelled like back then. All I have is these, and this one is almost brand new. I mean, you saw it. You see that this box is barely barely used, and this is almost full. The cap is pristine, so it's been stored indoors in air conditioning, and I don't know what to say. Maybe they're fine. Maybe this is exactly what it was. 20 years ago and just my my nose isn't picking it up. I'm just going to be one of those honest, rare but uh, honest YouTubers who's just telling you I don't have a nose for this. Like I can't pick up any of these differences. I just know that I like the smell and uh, you know it is 10 minutes later but um, maybe it would be different 30 minutes from now but from right now it just smells like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Just a little bit different like I don't know what to say um maybe I had another bottle in the past that was different or stronger and the clones I definitely know the clones and if you guys out there don't want to spend the uh, hundred or two hundred bucks to get a bottle of this there's a whole bunch of clones out there the cheapest one is Mont Blanc Legend and I don't recommend Mont Blanc Legend because even though it's only 30 bucks or 40 bucks, the performance is piss poor. Yeah, it smells like fierce, but it's gone in an hour or two. And there's so many other flankers of uh, Mont Blanc Legend. So I would recommend the new one, Mont Blanc Legend Eau de Parfum, or is it Parfum? That one, it's not exactly fierce, but it has that fierce DNA, that fierce... Um, you know, background to it, and it lasts longer. If you really want a high quality clone of this, there's a niche brand called Parfums de Marly that makes Percival, and I have never tried that. I would love to try Parfums de Marly PDM Percival because that is a high quality version of this. And I call it a clone because it definitely came after, was inspired by this. So. I got to get my hands on a, uh, a sample of uh, Parfums de Marley Percival. 
Other than that, you have uh, DUA fragrances. They make, they recreate uh, lost fragrances or discontinued fragrances, and they recreated the Silver Cap Red Label Fierce before this thing got neutered by the uh, regulations. That one, I don't know what it's called. DUA, maybe it's called Fierce. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, I can't describe it. Maybe I'll show a picture of it on the video, but I've never tried that. I'm interested in that one too. But the Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, now that you get at the store, it's like fierce flavored water. It's like fierce scented water. It just, uh, in 2011, there were these uh, regulations that came out that uh, banned a lot of substances that was that substances that were used in uh, perfumery, and uh, what made this thing really strong and project just got uh, taken out of it, and it was neutered, and it was never the same. And the what didn't change was the price. People are still paying like eighty dollars for a bottle of this, thinking it's the same thing that it was twenty years ago, but it's not. So that's all I have for you, a uh, comparison video, uh, this new treasure that I uncovered today that I unboxed for you, Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. It's a, it's a legend in itself, what can I say? Thanks for watching the channel. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my content, if you like this video. Share this video if you have any friends that are interested in this kind of stuff. And uh, subscribe down below, leave me a comment, say hi, and let me know if you have any recommendations for things that I should look for. And uh, that's basically it. Thanks a lot for hanging with me, and stick around. I have so many more videos coming up. I already have 10 that I've recorded uh, before this video that I have yet to edit. So I have a lot of editing ahead of me. And uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one.